A dry run to check the best way to administer COVID-19 vaccine and plug club holes in logistics and training was held across all states today. As per the media report, Union Health Minister Hurst Burden reviewed the process in GTV Hospital in Delhi. As many as 19,079 new COVID cases were recorded on the first day of the new year, taking the total number of infections recorded so far to over 1 crore and 3 lakh. Out of these, 2.5 lakh are active cases. A total of 224 deaths were reported on Friday, the lowest since June 2 last year. Union Health Minister Dr. Husbarden today urged people not to pay heed to rumors as the dry run for COVID-19 vaccination got underway across the country. He appealed to people not to pay heed to rumors. Ensuring the safety and efficacy of the vaccine is country's priority. Different kinds of rumors were spread during polio immunization, but people took the vaccine and India is now polio-free. Her burden was quoted as saying by news agency ANI. Khetri Iril Mapal Youth Club and Mera Paibis take a sit-in protest at Mini Bazaar of Khetri Awang Lekai in Imphal East today. The demonstration was in protest against the gun-firing incident at the residence of one Aribam Nijamuddin located of Khetri Awang Lekai yesterday. A two-day Kendriya Prasikant Vivak training program for Imphal West began today at the Terra Lokrakpam Lekai Community Hall. Organized by BJP Imphal West, the opening function was attended by Education Minister S. Rajin. In Manipur, 18 people contracted coronavirus in the last 24 hours. The total case load now stands at 28,000. 206. One person died at a disease in the last 24 hours. With this, the toll stands at 356 so far. The number of active cases are 1,108, while the recovered cases are 26,742. The recovery rate in the states has increased to 94.80% as of this morning, said the data provided by the COVID-19 Common Control Room. Welcoming New Year with positivity and bidding adieu to pandemic blues. 44 Assam Rifles under the ages of 22 sector Assam Rifles celebrated New Year 2021 with underprivileged people. Children from three child care homes run by local women and children foundation, Tamanglong were invited for breakfast at battalion headquarters. Assam Rifles official ladies and Jawans of Tamanglong battalion reached out and interacted with the children during the celebration. In view of the deep in COVID-19 cases, the Arunachal Pradesh government has also declared Saturday a working day till normal C returns as the college HEIS are facing acute shortage of physical teaching learning days to complete the syllabus. However, no decision regarding the reopening of hostel has been taken, yet which will be intimated by government in due course of time. Education Minister of Assam Dr. Himanta Bishwa Sarma announced that there will be regular classes in the state. Assam reopened for primary students yesterday after 10 months in a stagger way following strict COVID-19 protocols. Classroom teaching started on the first day of the new year for pupils studying in classes 1 to 5, though their attendance is not compulsory and will depend on parental consent. Over 50% students who were full of enthusiasm attended schools, wearing masks and they used sanitizer before entering classrooms. Senior Congress leader and former Union Minister Bhuta Singh passed away today, an agency report said. He was 86. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed grief and extended his condolences to the senior leader families. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi to condole Singh did and said that the nation has lost a loyal public servant today. Days after announcing the partial resumption of flights from January 8, the government has today issued standard operating procedures (SOPs) for passengers who will be arriving from the United Kingdom amid the concern over the new COVID-19 strain. Apart from a limited number of flights, India has made negative COVID test reports mandatory for all the passengers from the UK, a media report said. <laughs>